Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be making Windows XP usable in 2024, almost 10 years after Windows XP's end of life. So how is this even possible? And why would anyone still want to use this over 20 year old operating system? First of all, it's way less intrusive than Windows 10, and we can make an entire video about that, so we're not going to focus so much on that, but how you can stay secure after 10 years of no updates, minus the WannaCry emergency update that they released back in 2017, it's been, on, it's been end of life for over 10 years. First of all, we need to talk about why. A lot of people are still dedicated to using Windows uh, XP and 7 and a bunch of other operating systems still to this day. A 0.57% of Windows worldwide market share as of January of this year states there's still a big market share, I mean not a very big market share, it doesn't even hold 1%, but there's still a market share of people using Windows XP. And I'm willing to bet that you're just old systems that people forgot about and uh, stowed away. But uh we can but we can make it usable in 2024 to an extent so i finally got the my pal installer after like 10 minutes and it's based off of firefox so you're about to get some nostalgic firefox vibes so here it is my pal setup cute little raccoon and install it so it took launch my pal now <laughs> as you can see it is definitely based off of Firefox. If you're wondering why I have the silver theme on, I like it, deal with it. So, for example, we go to youtube.com. It's gonna take a second, but, and it's gonna be even slower because I'm on a VM, but as you can see, you can watch YouTube on Windows XP. This isn't a theme, you know, pack that I've put on, no. This is Windows XP Professional just as I started off this video. Uh, is there anything else that I can show you? Uh, the properties menu, this is only in Windows XP, and this isn't like a retro bar in Windows 11. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, we can't, uh, properties, this is not in Windows 10 or 11 or even like 7. This is Windows XP running, so it's pretty impressive. So now let's talk about another thing that we can do to add another just layer of security for us. It's called a legacy update. So for example, if we find, okay, here's our update catalog. It's gonna load it up in, in an Explorer by default. Thanks for your interest in getting updates from us. This site, Internet Explorer 5 or later. You can only be using Internet Explorer 5 or later. So we're, so, legacy update. Oh, oh my god, it looks just, it looks just like the Windows XP update. Oh, look at that, MJD. MJD got a, uh, Michael. He got a, Oh, my dog is barking. Wonderful. So, we can go ahead and we can install a GC update. And we're going to save the file to our computer. And if we run this, this is going to give us every single possible Windows XP update possible. So, it, it, it replaces the regular Windows update with its own legacy update, which I really like. I, I think it's better than it confusingly shipping with two versions. And if it doesn't, then I guess that sucks. <laughs> what about programs? So obviously Office might be something that you might be interested in looking for. Uh, Office 2013. I think it was the last version to support Windows XP because it was a Windows XP's end of support. Yeah, so the earliest version of Windows supported on that version of Office is Windows 7. So, uh, for, uh, Outlook, no, Office 2010 is the last version that is supported on Windows XP, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you can still do some emailing and stuff, which I wouldn't recommend on old version like this, but if you really need to, and this is the only computer that you have, you can most likely do this. It's pretty much my pal is the most impressive part of this entire thing because you can literally do simple, literally you can go on YouTube 
<laughs> it's, it's very impressive, to say the least. I'll switch back to the XP blue, because it was kind of hurting my eyes. So, yeah. In, in my pal is the most impressive thing, as you can see. You know, give it a moment. Wind Windows XP is capable of running YouTube. And like I said, this runs on Vista and Windows 7, so I'll be doing a video talking about... Mark has released a video about the Apple Vision Pro. I might have to watch that later. So, Legacy Update and MyPal. Those are basically the basic structures of it all. And if you if you can't get this, then you, you can't. You can't run it. So... Uh, so yeah, so if you really want to make your Windows Movie Maker, you know, your nostalgic videos, still to this day, then you can still do it. So, next is going to be antivirus. So you do a search query for Malwarebytes, what are you going to see? Malwarebytes, official site blocks ransomware attacks. If you're running Windows XP and you need to run it, if if, you, if you're like, well, I want to run it because I, I just want to. I think it would be better if you just skinned Windows 11. I have a video coming up about Retrobar, so we're going to talk to you guys about that. And you can make your Windows uh, 11 and 10 experience look like Windows XP almost exactly. So, it's not really worth it. But if you really want to, maybe Legacy Games, and you're going to be on it quite a bit often, then... Maybe this is a good choice. So what happens if we try to run any setup? It's not a valid Win32 program. Gotta love that beautiful VMware noise. So if you go to Malwarebytes old version, if you don't know what oldversion.com is, it's basically a beautiful website, but I don't think they have it, so we're gonna be using up to down. And it's another one of these websites where you can download old versions of files. And we'll download the version from 2011. Even if it's an older version of an antivirus software, it's better than having nothing. Alright? If you're still... <laughs> so, basically, at this point, we have MyPal, Legacy Update, and an old version of Malwarebytes, but it'll do us better justice than having nothing. So we run this, click on our, your language, oh, the OG Malwarebytes logo. Oh man, it's all coming back. Holy crap. I forgot that they had that logo back in 2011. I thought they switched to the blue M by this point. No, they had the black and red. So we're not going to update Malwarebytes because that's obviously going to break. <laughs> the database is outdated by 4,540 days. Would you like to update now? No, because it's probably going to break things. It's already running. Uh, start trial. Okay, so we can perform a quick scan on our system. And it's... It, it, it works. Okay, Malwarebytes from 2011 works. Now, I would recommend getting Malwarebytes from at least 2013 to 2014, because this is from 2011. But my point has been made that this is a malware, an anti-malware program running. So here's our notepad log, no malicious items. Beautiful. So, this is kind of... So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, Scott Tech Tips for more unboxings reviews, retrospectives of old operating systems and computer videos. Don't miss the uh, Windows XP in real life on actual software video. See you later.